G'day guys, Luke here from Tech Blokes, and iOS 13 is available as a public beta for anyone to go and download now. And uh, after using it for about two weeks, um, I'm on the beta 2 version here, but I can say confidently that Apple is really making strides to um, moving their devices into competent gaming machines. Basically, with the release of iOS 13, Apple has come and given us support, full support for Bluetooth mice, Bluetooth keyboards, and even gaming devices like the PS4 controller and the Xbox One controller. Now, to set it up is very, very simple. And uh, what I'm gonna do is show you the two devices that I use and recommend and that I've found worked really well for any games that you're gonna be playing um, on iOS 13. So the, the process is simple, but it can be a little bit confusing if you haven't done it before. So guys, the first thing we wanna do is connect our Logitech mouse over here first, and then I'll show you how to connect the keyboard after that. So what we wanna do is jump into settings, and it's actually not in Bluetooth. You will need to scroll down to accessibility. Um, I don't know why Apple's hidden it in here, but I imagine as they release more updates to iOS 13, it'll probably move to a more convenient spot. But go to touch and go to assistant touch and we wanna turn that on. I've currently got it on at the moment. And also what we wanna do is go to always show menu. And I like to turn that off because if you do go into any games, that little menu that's this guy here is super annoying and it's in the way. So just make sure you turn that off so that it's not on when you have full screen content turned on. So guys, what we wanna do is go into the Bluetooth now and you can see that it's currently already found the MX Master 2S. Now to do that, what I've had to do is click and hold this pairing button here on number three. You can see it's flashing quite quickly. So we'll go to our iPad, click on that we're gonna get a prompt to pair. So we'll click on pair. And now we have a little circular icon that we can use to move around. And that is now our, our mouse pointer, which is super convenient. I love that Apple has finally added this in. Now the, the keyboard I love and that I use most days is this little guy here. It's the Logitech K380. Uh, I'll leave the link for this one below. And again, this gives you the option to pair three different devices as well. Number one is my home PC. Number two is already set up and connected to the iPad Pro here. So what you wanna do is click and hold number two. It's going to flash. And as I move that to the side, you can see it's picked up the keyboard. And that keyboard, the K380, is now linked to the iPad Pro. So the process is obviously really, really simple. You only have to do it once. Once they're connected, it's just a matter of flicking to whichever device you want to pair to on your mouse or your keyboard. Now, I just want to show you how that looks in Safari. So, uh, unfortunately the scroll isn't working yet. I imagine that uh, Apple will probably add that in there a little bit later, but you know, you can type like you normally would and move your mouse around as you normally would. All right guys, so, now obviously what you would wanna do is jump in and try out a few games. What I can tell you is, is anything that uses uh, like precision control, so maybe like if you're into first person shooters or anything like that, the mouse and keyboard combo is really good. I can see games like, you know, old classics like StarCraft and StarCraft 2 coming to iPad, being able to use a mouse and a keyboard and having this gaming device, the iPad is super convenient. It really is like, the power inside these iPads is amazing, so it makes total sense that Apple is getting on the bandwagon and setting these up. So guys, just a really quick video to show you how I connect the Logitech mouse and Logitech keyboard for a fantastic gaming setup that you can take on the go. And it is very, very good. I, I just see it becoming the future with things like Google Stadia and Xbox um, Cloud Gaming. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like and a comment. What are you most looking forward to? Who knows, maybe we'll even see support for Nintendo Switch controllers later on down the track. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.